In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about when is the best situation to use the Divi theme and when is it better to use the Divi Builder plugin. Now, recently I've been posting videos about Astra in combination with the Divi Builder plugin. So quite a lot of people have been confused because they were thinking maybe the Divi theme is not good enough or there's a lot of bugs with it. So in today's tutorial, I'll be discussing when you should use which option. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. So let's start off by establishing when you should use the Divi theme. But before we go into that, I'm sure everyone of you knows that the Divi theme or Divi itself is a page builder. That is what it's good at doing, building pages. So pretty much with the Divi theme, you can build any type of layout, any type of design pretty much, because this is, in my opinion, the best builder on the planet. Now, if we take a look at the user base, we can see that close to half a million people have downloaded Divi and use Divi. Now, this is mainly because it's easy to use and it's full of great features. And that's the reason why I use it too. Now, I mentioned earlier on that Divi is a page builder, right? Now, when we take a look at these other themes or why Elegant Themes have provided an option where you can use the Divi plugin instead are situations where you have plugins that have integrations out of the box. Now, this is where, let's say, you want to build a website or an online course website. Now, out of the box, Divi Theme is a page builder, right? That's what it does best. But when it comes to certain integrations, there are themes out there that integrate the learning management system within the actual theme. Now that makes it easier for you to customize all your courses and how things look. Why? Because they've specifically optimized that theme for that. So this is where now the Divi Builder comes in. So you can go in now with the Divi Builder plugin and continue to build the page because Divi is a very good page builder, you see. So now you're having the best of both worlds. Now you have a theme that has great integration with your learning management system. And also when it comes to building the pages for your for that website, you have the page builder plugin, which is the Divi uh, plugin. So this is the situation. Now, quite a lot of people have been asking me via email and also on my YouTube channel why I've switched to, to Astra. So I guess there was a misconception there because people were thinking, oh, if... Mac is not using Divi, that means something is wrong with it. But the way I use Divi in that situation is for my um, online course website. So I have Divi University, where I have a few courses there that teach you how to design websites using Divi. I also have a WordPress course on there and also a Photoshop for Beginners course. Now, that particular website is running a learning management system. So that's where it's running Astra to control the learning management system and the Divi Builder plugin to take care of all the pages on my website. Now, let me give you an example here. So this is a website that I just built quickly. Now, if you take a look at this, for those of you that use our pre-made layouts, we can see that this is a Divi pre-made layout, right? Great. So everything is fine. Everything is working okay. You can still import them. You can export them. You can download uh, and do all those features. I mean, all those features that you get with the Divi theme, you get them in the plugin, which is great. Now, here's the thing. If I come over here to my dashboard, you'll notice that this type of integration here and how things are laid out, this is within the actual theme. And let me show you where that, where that integration is. So if I come over here to my dashboard, I'm going to come to Appearance, and then I'm going to click on Astra Options. So over here, we can see now that these are the extras that come with this particular theme. So you can see here, Learn Dash is uh, activated because that's the integration. And also, if we come over here to the theme itself and, custom, and click on Customize, we can also see some entries where you can specifically go in and customize your course pages. So again, if I come over here to Layout, we can see here that there's, uh, that there's Learn Dash. So if I click here, we can go in and we can adjust uh, the rows. We can uh, enable this distraction-free learning. We can display the student's gravatar in the primary header. So these are the things that are baked into the actual theme. Again, if I go back and click on container, this is where you can actually customize the container. Pretty much that's just the page which houses all the, the features that you need for your website. So you can actually go in here and make those adjustments. 
So this is the best situation where you can use the Divi Builder plugin and the theme that you like. There may also be situations where you have a specific theme that has features. I can't think of uh, a lot of those themes straight away because I've just been using the Divi theme mostly. The only time I started using this Astra theme is when I started building my learning management system website. So again, maybe there might be a theme out there as well that does a very good job of perhaps maybe integrating, integrating say, WooCommerce, for example, and Astra does that. So if you want your WooCommerce stuff to be um, laid out using the actual theme and then use Divi to customize some of your inside pages, this is where you use that combination. So I guess I had to make that distinction because quite a few people were getting confused why I was switching and using Astra. Now, let me talk about Astra a little bit. If we take a look at Astra as well, Astra is not a page builder, right? So it only gives you those features that you need for that particular job that you want to do, but it is not a page builder. That is why a lot of people that use Astra use it with either Divi or Elementor because that is the perfect combination that makes things work together. So again, let's say you use Lifter LMS and you'd like a very good integration with that. Uh, my suggestion would be use Astra because it has Lifter LMS integration in it and use Divi to build your pages for that website. So I hope I've made that very clear because this was a question that I was being asked over and over again. So that's the kind of situation that you'd like to do that. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so before I finalize this video, let's just recap. So the situations where you want to use the Divi Builder plugin is specifically when you want to use a theme that has some sort of integration out of the box. In this case, uh, the example that I gave is the example of a website that has online uh, courses. So in my case, I use LearnDash. So LearnDash Learn is integrated into Astra. So that's a great integration. So that's the theme I would go with. And then if I need to build my inside pages, landing pages, and so on, this is where the Divi uh, Builder plugin comes in. But if you just want to build pages, you want to build websites, the Divi theme is perfect for that. There's no need to go with Astra and then use the plugin for just building pages. Okay, so I hope that is clear and uh, I hope that's, uh, that has cleared the confusion. So uh, again, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if, you are fr if you're new to this channel, uh, do subscribe and also don't forget to click the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new videos. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.